folks today I bring to you one more romance that I have written it is called finding Anya this is finding Anya and it's available on Kindle on Amazon exclusively on Amazon about finding Anya the story I, I always been with fascinated with the subject of amnesia and when I did my research, what I realized was there are many kinds of amnesia. And they come with different names, you know, retrograde amnesia and uh, many such things. There is amnesia where a person forgets and they never get their memory back. There is amnesia where a person forgets, they get their memory back, but they forget what had happened in the interim period when they had suffered that memory loss. Okay, like say if they have uh, been amnesia, they have been undergoing amnesia for two years, and they get the memory back. They don't remember what happened in those two in two years, right? And there is this amnesia, which when they recover, they recall their earlier life and the interim period. Okay, so I went for this third option. What happens to Anya? The first scene begins with her getting her divorce. Why is she getting her divorce? She's been happily married to Varan. Best part is, Varan is gay and he's been under pressure to get married by his family. Anya is normal but she is also under pressure from her parents to get married. So what these two childhood friends that they have been studying in school right from the beginning, what do they plan between the two of them? They decide to get married to just shut their parents up. And they set up house in Mumbai. They just stay together for a few years till Farhan's boyfriend becomes free to be with him and that is when they take a divorce. Just as when Anya comes out of the divorce court, she's driving, she's at a signal, a lorry crashes into her and she has an accident. That is when Dev comes into her life. Dev takes her to hospital. He recognizes her as Anya. But he doesn't know any other detail. He doesn't even know her surname. So he and she doesn't have a social media presence. He's not able to. And Dave is also not very social media savvy. So he's not able to trace where she is. I mean, who she is. And so he takes her home. And where is home? Home is Dave's home is in Karjat, and he has a commercial farm. This is another set up you know which is very very close to my heart like I really believe that everybody should come out of yes we do need engineers we do, do need doctors in this world but if every single human being is going to become this or not the world doesn't need so many of these experts right and the other industries do need people I studied a lot about commercial farming of course not in Karjat it was somewhere in the north Okay, I I checked a lot of videos. I read up a lot about it, and I saw that it's a still growing industry, but it's a flourishing industry, and that's how they, who is an MBA in marketing, of course, from USA, he decides to become a commercial farmer, much to his parents' annoyance. That's another part of the story. Now back to Dave and Anya. Anya recovers her physical health, but mentally she, is, she doesn't remember a damn thing about her earlier life. She, she stays with Zeb. Zeb lives with his grandmother, who is a very affectionate lady, and she begins to work for Zeb. And they fall in love. But, she remember I mentioned Zeb already knew her. What was that life before? That's for you to find out from the story. And will Anya ever 
find herself. That's what finding Anya is all about. I would love to know what you think of this romance which I wrote. It gave me a lot of happiness and excitement, introducing a lot more characters and also the Dave's journey as a successful commercial farmer. And of course their love, whether it flourishes, whether Anya remembers her earlier life and if they find happiness together. This is what the story is all about. Hope you enjoy reading this book folks. I love writing it.